people you are welcome back to better life worldwide well today as you can see on your screen we are blessed with so many amazing lovely exactly. pastors dancers <laughs> teachers rappers <laughs> great amazing people here and we are going to dive into interesting topic one of the major problem that we the young one are facing and by the end of this video you will educate yourself i will educate myself so that we'll build our life to become the best version of us without wasting my time let me start introducing my guest on my extreme right i have love general love general thank you for coming from the United States of Ghana. <laughs> the United States of Ghana. Thank you so much. Please try and speak up. Yeah. Uh huh. Followed by um Debbie and also known as Ife Jacob. I have a YouTube channel, so you can just go and check it out. Ife Jacob. Of I course, a... of course. I'm going to leave. I mean, I'll take your YouTube channel. I mean, link on okay. the description uh, yeah. so that people would dive into Why a YouTube you want channel. To check your YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got my no mind. Okay. Just went down. Please, you are from. <laughs> Nigerian. Of course, the junior brothers of uh, Ghana. They're not good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please, you are. Tracy from Congo. Tracy from Congo. <laughs> On my extreme <laughs> left, we have. Yeah, I'm sweet from the United States of Zion. <laughs> okay. Yes. And where is that one? It's somewhere in Ghana because the portal is there. <laughs> That's Ghana. All right. All right. Okay, followed by. I'm Lois. All right. From the United States of, um, of Ghana. Ghana. Of Ghana, thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Okay, followed by. I'm Blessing from Ghana as well. Right, followed by Miss Blessing from Ghana. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my wonderful guests. Thank you for having me. So today we are going to talk about when is it right to fall into a relationship? When is it right to fall into a relationship? And also, when you enter a relationship, how do you handle the relationship well? I mean, a godly way, so you don't defile the relationship. The introduction started from here, so now I'm going to start from here. So, oh, calm down. <laughs> 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 you are going to start it. <laughs> okay, so let's move. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> yes. Let's yes, get started. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll talk. Okay. Then when is it right to enter into yeah. the relationship? Right? When is it right? Uh, um, it's it's more like in your own know, perspective. Yeah, it's more like you're in school. You're gonna write the exam. Mm -hmm. and Please can you speak up a little? <clears throat> it's more like you're in a school and you're gonna write the exam, mm -hmm. and um, you have you know final exam or you have a test mm -hmm. and you are not ready to take the test mm -hmm. the test you will know mm -hmm. so if you are not ready you will know and if mm -hmm. you are ready you will know mm -hmm. so i think it's, it's 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 a part of your person and your experience mm -hmm. yeah oh okay so you yourself will know should know the yeah. right time to to have that right exactly all right thank you so much our sweet so i'll come to uh miss deborah <laughs> Yeah, and I think it's almost the same thing what you said. Okay. Like you would know when you're ready. Mm -hmm. And um I think another thing I would like to like point out is mm -hmm. even sometimes when you're ready mm -hmm. and you're already in the relationship. Okay. At the point you might still not feel ready. Okay. I don't know if that makes sense. For marriage or for, for marriage. marriage. Okay. For marriage. Because okay. of course mm -hmm. there there should be a motive for you going to a relationship. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can't just mm -hmm. because okay, I want to be in a relationship. Okay, I'm Not, ready for this relationship. Okay. Sorry for cutting. So if I get it well, number one, you should have what a motive. A motive, yeah, yeah. of course, important. You get it right? So a motive. Okay, let's yeah. go. So uh -huh. now you're lit we are ready for this relationship, mm -hmm. right? Then you enter into the relationship and it's like it's going well, mm -hmm. like one year and you're like, Okay, am I really ready for the next step? The next step which is the motive, the motive. why you started this relationship. Great, so, great. Thank you so much. But I mean step. what about someone who who is let's say 15, 13, yeah, in the junior high. Of course, but that's what is happening. You get it? And then there's junior high or the senior high. Mm -hmm. Some are even they are um having their first degree. Okay, and they can say I'm also ready. You get it, as our sweet said, when you are ready, they can also say that I'm ready. 
Do you get it? What will you tell those people? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So what will you tell these people? <laughs> Please, it will come to you on our end, oh, so prepare. No, 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 wait. Oh, um, no, no. Cut it back out. <laughs> I have no, to no, think. No. We are not cutting anything out. Uh, so calm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a 15 year okay. old boy or a 15 year old boy. Girl. Number one, you are leaving your father's house. <laughs> Number one, they give you shop money. Uh huh. You're going, can you take care of her? Uh-huh. Or can you take you know, can he take care of you? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and he living his own father's house or mm-hmm. mother's house cannot mm-hmm. do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and mm-hmm. cannot take wise decisions. That's why I'm going to school to learn mm-hmm. and write tests and all that. Okay. So um Just for the meantime, you to the camera and tell them for me. Oh okay. So for the meantime, <laughs> so you cancel the old kid. Mm-hmm. For the meantime, you you have to relax. There's something we call last and there's something we call love. Mm-hmm. And love is good. Mm-hmm. You've not gotten there yet, so mm-hmm. we have to encourage those, mm-hmm. encourage, you know, mm-hmm. um, counsel those people, mm-hmm. you know, to relax, to calm down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, thank you, thank you so much. Um, um, I'm coming to Miss Lois. So, what do you think is is the most? I mean, the major causes of these young ones. I mean, changing relationship. I mean, it got ready for boyfriend, girlfriend. Like, it's like they are more even serious than those already there. <laughs> you get it? What do you think is the, is the cause of it? Okay, so if I get the point right, I'll yeah. say what is making them, um, these young ones, not ready as we may claim, to, yeah, as we may say it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think peer influence is one, mm-hmm. um, social media. Mm-hmm. Yeah, movies mm-hmm. they watch from mm-hmm. the other part of the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, and the things they see around to motivate them, material things to mm-hmm. motivate them to go into those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. I think that's what okay. I can say. Okay, but we know that um social media and peer pressure they will always come. So what can they do? I'm coming to uh, Miss Tracy. You know. As Miss Lois said, mm-hmm. social media is an influencer to their life. Peer pressure is also the materialistic things, like they are eager to have it. Yeah. But there's nothing we can do away with it, right? Because, I mean, they are also useful things, uh, tools that we are all using. Mm-hmm. So, what advice will you tell them? That these guys, that they are being influenced by peer pressure, they are being influenced by the social media, what they see out there. So, what advice will you tell them? Okay, has sweet said we have to counsel them to tell them that it's not the right time for it mm-hmm. and Please, can speak up? okay <coughs> we have to tell them that it's not mm-hmm. the right time mm-hmm. and that and mm-hmm. also to talk to them about uh, like christian life because mm-hmm. as a christian it's not good to just go into a, into mm-hmm. a relationship just mm-hmm. for non for no reason mm-hmm. and also um, Mm-hmm. Like it's also that's how they say, it. yeah, 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 because they want maybe mm-hmm. a new iPhone mm-hmm. just to mm-hmm. cancel them to talk to them. Mm-hmm. That that is not really important. All right, yeah, all right, all right. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. So I'm coming to uh, love general. Love general. My my question to you. Now we have, um, <laughs> we have digested more of the the youth aspect, um. What will it tell these youth that are rushing into relationship? They are eager to have because right now we are seeing unnecessary booking hearts. Very unnecessary. Mm. I say it's unnecessary because I mean <laughs> you somebody is taking care of you and you are taking about somebody else. Okay. <laughs> so what will it tell them? Sherry is scary. Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay. Um, basically. Mm. You know, if if you put a child in mm-hmm. a calculus class, the child mm-hmm. is going to be confused. Okay. Yeah, no matter how they feel like, oh, well, I think I like this class. Mm-hmm. I like the way things are going there. They're going to be confused. Okay. And one aspect, like they mentioned, is mm-hmm. sex education. Mm-hmm. Because at that age, they are now getting to know themselves. Okay. Because they are surprised at what they are feeling inside there. Mm-hmm. They're like, what's, what's making me feel this way for this person? Mm-hmm. 